Two Xeon dual core processors running at a blazing fast speed of 2.66 gigahertz, two gigs of RAM, 250 gig hard drive running macOS Lion. Wait, what? It's 2020. Why would anyone in their right mind buy a 2006 Mac Pro 1 comma 1? Well, stay tuned, I'll tell you why. It was just a bit over a week ago I was stumbling through OfferUp looking for storage related hardware. Just on a whim I came across a listing that I almost bypassed out of sheer disbelief. I've been wanting to pick up a MacBook or a Mac Pro 4,1 or 5,1 for some time now, but the prices on these computers even though they are 10 years or more older is outrageous. Local listings of over 500 to 1200 US dollars for a system of this age the title just stated Computer Desktop Apple. No other context, just saying they needed it gone with a price tag of $10. Now from the pictures, I knew it was at least an Intel model. Not sure which one. I knew it wasn't a Power Mac G5. I've had one of those a couple of years back. But I was unsure if I was going to be lucky enough to come up with a 4,1 or a 5,1. Now hindsight tells me that those models don't have the FireWire 400 connection on the front and the back. I should have known that. Needless to say, I got it for 20 bucks. He said while I was on my way over there that he had somebody else interested and that he, for 20 bucks he'd meet me immediately. So, I got it. Now with that in mind, running Lion in 2020 is a futile attempt to call something usable. Safari is sorely out of date. Chrome will not load onto Safari and will not run, and even though I have an older version of Firefox available to install, web browsing and any type of media just will not be pleasurable to run. Even at the, even at the $20 price tag, it still would be mostly a hot running paperweight, possibly a file server, and that's about it. Now after a bit more research, and yes, I can get El Capitan running on it, which I do already have running, and it is usable in 2020. I can upgrade the RAM, the processor, hard drives. Right now I'm running an SSD up in the top bay where the CD-ROM used to be and have at least, at bare minimum, a cheap NAS and a usable system. So it's been flashed to a 2,1. Both the EFI and the SMC have been upgraded. And I got a supposed match or a matching set of 3 gigahertz Intel Xeon X5365 quad core processors. If you want to know more information on the upgrades to the SMC and the EFI, both to 2.1 um, from the 1.1, just let me know. I'll see if I can post something up. YouTube currently runs perfectly fine at 1080. Web browsing is fast and responsive with both Firefox and Google Chrome. Lightroom runs equally well. The loading times that you're seeing were not due to the system. They were actually due to the running off of the old Drobo, the original 1.0 USB. Geekbench 4 records a single core score of 1659, while the multi-core score is 5017. Now matching that up with my Hackintosh that's running a Core i5 quad core, it's running a 3830 single core score and 11,238 multi core score, and that's pretty well loaded up with all the editing software and all the windows open. So, we're going to have to work on this to get it a little bit better than that.
Now this isn't going to be a gaming system by any stretch of the imagination. I decided to go ahead and run Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0 just for giggles and grins. Frames per second were 42. It got a score of 1,078. Um, the minimum frames were 8.8. .8, the max frames were 84.5. That was at medium settings, 1050p, and that's running on the GTX 750 one megabyte card. So, I mean, it could probably run Fortnite if you really wanted to, um, but like I said, this isn't going to be a gaming PC at all. With performance in mind, I did order two X5365 Intel Xeon processors for the system. Like I mentioned before, the seller had stated they were a matching set, but after opening the packages, it doesn't appear to be the case. Either way, in the next video, I'll be installing the new processors and doing some more benchmarks to compare with how the Mac Pro is currently running against her new dual quad core processors running at 3 gigahertz. Thanks for watching. Please sub like, subscribe, and comment. If you didn't like the video, hey, you know where that button is too. Catch you next time.